What's up? Welcome back, Mint Motorsports. <sighs> you ever find yourself rummaging through Facebook Marketplace and your or Instagram and you see this thing and you're like, man, that looks like a pretty decent tool. I wonder if that actually works pretty good. So that's what happened to me. I found this tool, found a video on it, and I was like, you know, that looks like it would be something that I could use on the front and rear bumper of Lockjaw. So what I did was I ordered it. Found it on Amazon. Ordered this puppy. It's a power washing sandblaster attachment. So you put this little end in your coupler on your power washing wand. There's a ceramic tip inside of this brass fitting. That way you don't wear the brass tip down. There's a hose that you attach to this. And there's a pickup tube that you attach to the other side of the tube. And you just jam it either in the bag of sand or I'm gonna put it in a bucket just jam this in the bucket and uh, try her out. From what I understand, there's obviously no, no air that's gonna be involved. It's just gonna be the suction from when the water goes through here and it creates a vacuum. And then it just feeds the sand in here and it sprays it with the water. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Came with a little bag of hose clamps, some spare tip, two spare tips, Two other spare uh, ceramic fittings, some Teflon tape, and four O-rings. I'll put the link in the description for this kit if it ends up working out pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's see if it can strip some paint. I think the finer the sand, the better is going to be for this. And this is pretty darn fine. This is the finest I could really find at my local Lowe's, so this is gonna have to work. So to at attach this, all you're gonna need is the supply hose clamps that it comes with. You know, we're gonna double it. Maybe that's why we sent four. Who knows what's gonna happen, right? And then this is your pickup tube. This is our setup. And then what you do is you just stick it in like that. All right, I got my power washer. This is only a 3100 at 2.7 gallons per minute deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two just like that. And that's pretty much your extent of it. It's kind of a long setup, but maybe it'll be good for a splashback of sand you don't want it right in your eye right I'm gonna get some glasses got my safety glasses got her in the bucket let's give her a whistle from you that first bit I felt it hit my face but that's why I got my safety protection
So after about five minutes of spraying, you can see where I've stripped down the paint. It does pretty good. Going through a lot of sand. I got a lot of sand everywhere. That was expected, but I just let this dry up and blow it into the grass. This is a 50 pound bag of sand. As you can see, I probably have 15 pounds left. So it cheaches through the sand. You can kind of tell when it, the tip gets clogged, it doesn't blast as good and then it'll kind of like clear up and really spray all the sand out of it. But this looks pretty good. It looks pretty dang good. This is kind of what they look like after you're done and the water dries. see there's a little bit of rust forming uh, I didn't wipe them down or anything I just put them underneath my heater but it did pretty good uh, pretty good for what you know what I did I mean that's pretty smooth it doesn't look smooth but pretty dang good for 30 bucks and then 20 bucks with for sand saves going through all this with a wire wheel or a, a grinder so that's pretty much it i uh i got some pros and i got some cons the pros would be it's definitely easy right you just hook that thing up to your power washer stick the end in the sand and just have at it gotta have a lot of sand uh, it's definitely cheap uh we went through 20 bucks worth of sand got about 50 percent of the way done the tool itself was like 30 bucks so you got 50 bucks. And it'd be even cheaper if you went to the uh, beach and got some sand. You probably have to filter it. Actually, probably not, don't do that. It's probably illegal. And it's effective. I mean, it works. It works good when it works. It takes the mill scale off, takes the paint off, the primer off, everything all the way down to bare metal. The cons, I would probably say, a little messy. I do it in the yard or I dedicate an area to do it somewhere that you don't wanna, or you don't have to clean up all the sand. Maybe if you have like a big yard, do it up out in your yard somewhere, or if you got a field, do it in the field, or probably wouldn't do it right next to a garage or right next to your barn or on one of your approaches to your house or anywhere like that. Definitely wouldn't do it inside either. Do not try this inside. It's definitely weather dependent, so that's kind of a con. You wouldn't want to do this in the middle of the winter. Um, your best bet is to get a nice sunny day, that way your steel drives rather quickly after you're done. Otherwise, you're gonna deal with the rust like what I got going on. But I'm gonna go over them again anyway. Uh, I'm not finished with them. I got more paint I wanna blast off and I can't imagine it would be too hard to take off that rust with this tool. And the last con would probably be large objects. If you got a, like a, we wanna sandblast your bedside or a bed that you got and you're, you're looking to you know, start from scratch down to bare metal for some reason or for whatever reason or you know maybe i don't know something that's big it's going to take a lot of sand so you're going to have a lot of money in sand unless you can find a way or figure out a way to recover the sand screen it get all the dirt out of it and, you know put it back through dry it out put it back through the machine or the tool but other than that this thing worked pretty darn good overall i'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 only because I use a lot of sand. I barely used any of the ceramic tip. I mean, this thing still looks like new. Um, yeah. That's probably gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.